Routes and their associated URLs form the core of your Ember app structure. Today, we're going to look at combining routes through nesting them and using outlets to do that. Let's take a fairly common scenario where we have a series of resources, in this case the posts resource, and then the singular post resource inside of it. They're going to be in a master detail view. On the outside, we have the application. And then in the application template, there's an outlet. That gets filled in with the posts route once we go there. So we're in the posts route. And in the post template, there's another outlet. That's going to get filled in by the route that we go to in the URL after posts. So it could be filled in by the index or new, or in this case, it's going to be filled in by the post route. Let's take a look at how that plays out in a real application. This is that same master detail view in an application. Here in our Ember inspector, we can see in the routes tab, these three routes. The application, it happens right at the top. There's not, no URL for that. Then you have the posts, and then index is automatically displayed into the outlet if there's nothing else. You'll see that when we click this, index will change to singular post. And uh, that is a bug in Ember Inspector that we just found. So let's go ahead and look at the view tree. And we can see that the views are nested just as we predicted. And the URL is showing the post ID. The post ID being the part of the URL that corresponds to the post route. Let's look at what this looks like in the code. Here's the routes, just like we showed on the slide before. Then we have the application template, which in this case is just a div with an outlet. That's why you didn't see anything from the application template when we were looking at it. Then the post template, we have the column on the left, which is a list of all the posts and a link. And then on the right, we have the outlet. The index is just announcing that it's the index. And the post is just showing the title. And now that you've seen the outlets, you can see you have the application wrapped around here. Let's go ahead and see the entire application is here. And then posts is a smaller bit. And the post wraps around both the list on the side and all of its outlet. But then the outlet only takes up the part on the right. So those are the basics. Let's reinforce that knowledge with a quick example of a slightly more complicated situation. Here are the routes that we have for tags. It's similar to the nested routes that we have for posts, but we've added a new route, a show route, and an edit route. Let's look at this in the browser. So this is our index. I didn't bother putting anything special in the index. You'll see if we click on one of these, it'll display the tag route and then the show route inside of it in here. And currently the tag template is just an outlet. That's what gets auto-generated. So it passes down to the show and to the edit. We can also go to the new route, which is nested directly under tags. As you can see, adding these complications didn't complicate the concept. It's just the same concept applied in a few more places. So that's it for nested routes and outlets. You may have noticed during this episode, the file paths here, 
they look a little bit different than you may be used to. That's because we're using the pods directory structure. In this week's pro episode, I'll be, go be going over the details of the pods directory structure and how you can start using it in your app right now. You also may have noticed that this looks a lot like a CRUD interface. Next week, we'll be going over the details of how to build a CRUD interface with Ember and Ember Data. I hope you'll check those out and see you soon.